Well, apparently the A1000 does have a removable terminal block for the logic wires or the control wiring and that terminal block does have memory. And when you reinsert it into a new drive, it'll actually error check to find out if the parameters that are current on the terminal board are current in the new drive during a replacement. So real quickly, let me show you how to, uh, to, to take that apart. So remove the digital operator. Pretty simple, press on the side and pull it up. Remove the lower panel, which you can push on each side. You can pull that guy off. And then take, take the, uh, the upper panel off just by removing this screw, pretty simple. And this guy will come off. Then right here, the, the lower terminal block is held by two screws. This is a slotted screw for grounding. So we'll just loosen that up. This is a captured screw. So we'll take this screw out right here. That's captured, that's gonna stay resident. And then all we do is slide this down and there you go. Now you can ready to install that new drive. The other trick's gonna be these wires here are obviously going through a conduit entry. So you'll need to take this lower panel off. There's two screws down here to take the lower panel off and then you can use this lower panel on the new drive. So there it is, the removable terminal strip for the A1000 with memory to hold your program. Thanks.